So functionalism is a macro theory, meaning that we usually apply it on the grand scale. Like it's one of the bigger sociological theories. Okay. So tell me what you think of would be like the definition of functionalism. Like a basic estimation. How it works. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? That's okay. So the idea of functionalism is that everything in society has a function. Okay. So like, if I was going to write a paper about trying to prove functionalism, I might try to go somewhere bad. So like, um, a common paper, I don't know if they had you write it, but like, you write a reason why you think prostitutes are functional to society. Mm -hmm. Now at first glance, you're gonna be like, they're not. But then if you think about it, they give cops jobs to a certain extent, they keep jails open to a certain extent, they keep courthouses open to a certain extent. So even if it is a bad function, everything in society has a function okay. that feeds off of so many things. And the idea of if something doesn't have a function, then it doesn't exist. Like we don't have it as a part of our society. Okay. That is the idea of functionalism. So if we were going to argue a paper on effects of stress on college life and health, then what we would talk about would be that stress has a function. Like it may motivate us, it may do things like that. Um, either that or we would say you know, our health has a function or college life has a function. So we could talk about stress affects health in so many different ways, but stress is a part of college life, it just yeah. is. And we need college as a function to do better in society and economics or in you know, career choices or just educational esteem and intelligence. Okay. Okay, so that would be like talking about the function of that. Okay. Um, so let's work through a different one just so you can kind of see how it would work. Okay. So if I were going to talk about the functions of, you know, let's do prostitutes. Okay. So this always has a bad connotation. Most people would think we'd be much better off without them. And in truth, we might be. But prostitutes make up so much of a percentage of crime. And crime definitely has a function in society. Okay. So what are some ways that crime has a function in society, do you think? Like you said, like keeping jails and keeping people on jobs. Mm-hmm. So that's the effect that they have on our society. So if we were to talk about how do, you know, prostitutes affect society, we would say, well, yes, they make it a lot dirtier. They make it, you know, um, they make it a less safe place. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the positive side, we see all of this. Okay. So if we were to talk about then functionalism and stress, like I said, we'd say, okay, stress is motivational. or stress has the function, even though it's a bad function, of making our body react. It's not a great function, we don't want it, but it does have that function. You know, college life leads to careers, uh, better class placement. Okay. Uh, more money. And kind of more status. Usually people that have a college degree are more respected than those who don't. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, health. Of course, the function of our health is, um, you know, better body, better mind, or worse. Um, so if we were talking about functionalism from that perspective, that's what I would say. So with your paper, I think functionalism is a little harder to argue. So if it's not too late, I would possibly change it to an idea like conflict theory. Okay. Because conflict theory is all about conflict and power. Okay. So you could be talking about the power that stress has over our health. Okay. And like how it kind of like pushes it down. Okay. So if you want to talk about that, we can. Yeah. Okay. 
So, but this is how I would argue functionalism. I just okay. think it would be a little bit more difficult. Okay.